Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. This one is definitely more on the small side. We are actually heading out soon for a little weekend vacation. So I kind of really shot my pantry, wanted to use up some of the stuff that we have had on hand that we were not coming home to anything that goes bad or anything like that so didn't need a whole lot for actual meals we are out of a lot of our favorite like go-to drinks and then my husband is really craving my fresh salsa recipe so we've got to get some stuff for that so i know it's still going to be a little pricey knowing that we're stocking up on all of that stuff but Overall, my grocery list isn't too long. I also wanted to share that this video is in collaboration with Tiffany over at Small Town Six. She has four kiddos just like we do and shares a lot of the same content that I do. So I know you guys are going to love her if you're not already following her. I'll have her channel link in my description box. She shares, of course, today is gonna be a grocery haul. So definitely check that one out. But she also shares Dollar Tree hauls as well as other shopping hauls. And she shares a lot of recipes as well meal prep dinner ideas all the things so definitely go check her out and give her some love tell her i sent you but with that let me take you down to my counter and show you guys everything that we picked up at heb all right here's everything from heb and it definitely would have been smaller if we weren't out of like all the drinks <laughs> so we're just gonna get right into it I kind of separated it the best that I could so over here this is my favorite coffee creamer the coffee mate I always get the zero sugar um, and the Italian sweet cream is my go-to flavor but Pearl and Bryce have been enjoying coffee here lately. Sometimes I'll make it in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon. I, I do buy the, I have decaf K-cups for them that they use. They just like the flavor. So I saw this one, the Twix. I'm not a huge like chocolate. I love caramel, but I'm not a huge chocolate like drinker, but I think they might enjoy trying this. So I picked up the Coffee Mate in the Twix, zero sugar. I have a hard time finding all the flavors in the zero sugar i just try to i mean we eat enough sugar as it is so where i can cut it out i try to so i did get that for them to try as well as some of these now when Paige would make her coffees here at home she had like a whole setup all the things we already have plenty of the jordan skinny syrups that the kids like to add and i do i add them into my coffee um but they wanted some like syrups as well so we went ahead not syrups but like this kind like the chocolate and the caramel sauce so i went ahead and picked up both of them smuckers it's just what i found the sunday syrup it says sweetened with splenda so this one's caramel and then i got the chocolate as well so they can like really go to town making fancy drinks <laughs> for themselves mark wanted some lemon and lime juice we go through phases where we'll pick up like fresh lemons and limes but sometimes we don't get to them these are just easier and these are easy for him to take to work he likes to put this in his water fyi so he got the lime and the lemon juice for that i got some carrots this is going to be um, part of a dinner one night this week i'm going to throw this on a sheet pan. Most weeks I ask the kids, what's one thing that you want from the grocery store this week? So this time Bryce, actually he pretty much asks for this every time. And normally I get him like a little, the pint ones, the small ones that he'll eat. But this time I was like, okay, if you're gonna ask for that every single week, I'm gonna save me a little moolah and get the bigger one. And that way if the girls want some ice cream, they can, but the girls prefer the like popsicles. So this will mainly be for Bryce, but I got a half gallon of the HEB Creamy Creations chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. So he's been asking this like the last several weeks I've asked him what he wants when I'm going to the grocery store. He says cookie dough ice cream. So I figured I would just go ahead and get this one for him. Two gallons of milk. I'm not sure. I kind of like picked the latest date that I could March 18th because we are going on a little fishing trip soon and I don't know that also helped like not having to get a whole bunch of groceries and having a fully stocked pantry I wasn't sure if we needed to or not when I had to pick them up that way when we come back I know we'll already have milk in the fridge so we got two gallons of milk Mark is craving some salsa. So we did pick up some stuff to make some fresh salsa. I got some cilantro. We've got six large tomatoes, a green bell pepper, and then four jalapenos. And I have a really good salsa recipe if you guys have the very first cookbook that Nicole, Kira, and I put out. It's always linked in my Amazon store down in the description box. But 
it's really, really good. So he was craving that, got the stuff to make that. We're also going to make some guacamole. I was invited to a pampered chef party last week and I ordered, one of the things that I ordered was this like guacamole seasoning and we're gonna use that. We're gonna try that out and see how it tastes. So two of these avocados are for guacamole. The other two are just for during the week because Pearl, you guys are not new, she loves, like I feel like I say this every time I buy avocados, but I always have different people watching. So Pearl loves avocado toast or if we have bagels, she puts avocado on a bagel, she cooks some bacon, crumbles them up, puts those on top, and that's what she has for breakfast whenever we have all the ingredients. So I made sure that we got a couple for her. Two zucchinis, this is for the sheet pan meal, as well as these little baby potatoes. So we've got the potatoes, zucchini, and carrots going on a sheet pan with some sausage. That's gonna be a quick, easy, and delicious dinner. A chair of tomatoes. These are just something that the kids love to snack on. I got some sugar snap peas. I thought this would be great to dip in. I made a little container of Fiesta Ranch and these are really good dipped in that. So I got some sugar snap peas to dip in that and then a head of lettuce for our taco night. We'll just, I'll just shred this up and it'll be great for tacos. Okay, so that's it for the produce. Now for the drinks. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar is something that we just like to have on hand. I have one almost every single day in the afternoon. So went ahead and got a 20 pack of that Gatorade Zero. This is what the kids like to drink. So went ahead and got more of those. We're almost out. This is an 18 pack and I do get, I know they have like the larger sizes. These are the 12 ounce bottles. So this is a variety pack. It's got six of the Glacier Freeze, six of the Glacier Cherry and six Berry. And then over here, this is the other soda that I like and H-E-B always has it. <laughs> so depending on where I'm shopping, sometimes I get groceries from Target, sometimes from Walmart, um, but H-E-B always has this and it's a Dr. Pepper and cream soda, zero sugar. That's my other favorite, it's super delicious. And then I am really, really low on my sparkling water. So went ahead and got two different kinds, stuck with the H-E-B brand. I got the lime unsweetened sparkling water and then the coconut unsweetened sparkling water. And then this, I just saw like a little ad or picture, I don't know, but I remember seeing this, that there was a new Coke out. So I had it like on the back of my mind to look for it, but my, like it took me forever to find that. And it also took me forever to find the strawberry one, which I've already mentioned. I don't know if it was in a video. I think it was in a video, but it might've been over on Instagram. I'm not a fan of the strawberry and cream. Mark really enjoys it though. So he's drinking those, but I am not. <laughs> These are my two go-tos. Um, so I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. I didn't like click on the little ad or anything. I just saw it and I knew it was gonna be a pink box. So I only found them in the minis. These are the little mini cans. And this is the limited edition Move Zero Sugar by Coca-Cola Creation. So I just went ahead and picked this up and we'll give it a try. But you guys will have to let me know if you found this, you've tried it, and if you've liked it. So I'm excited. I like to try new flavors of things. All right, and then we've got some like pantry items. So with that Fiesta Ranch that I made, the boys really love ruffles. I love the veggies in the Fiesta Ranch. I think it's so good. So does Pearl. Rose isn't a huge fan of the, of the Fiesta Ranch. She just likes plain veggies, but the boys like the ruffles. So we did get a bag of the ruffles chips. And then normally I get the microwavable mac and cheese. However, the kids are doing better at like cooking like the super easy stuff, like ramen. They all know how to make ramen on the stove. And I was like, okay, we're gonna up it a little bit because you have to like use milk and butter in this and ramen, it's just heating up the water. So we're gonna up it. And plus this is cheaper. These are like a dollar versus like $3 for the microwavable ones. So I went ahead and got some mac and cheese for the stove top. We've got the regular, this is like the original Kraft mac and cheese. I got the three cheese one, which is like a shell noodle. Then we got the spirals and the thick and creamy. So the kids are gonna learn how to make their own mac and cheese on the stove top. All right, Rose's pick for, from the grocery store was Pringles. I was hoping to find the like variety pack of the little ones. They were all out. So I just got three different ones and I didn't realize, like look at the size difference. I got two party stacks apparently. And then this one is just like the normal size. So these are the three, well these are the two flavors that they like outside of the original, the cheddar cheese and the sour cream and onion. And then I don't know the last time that we've picked up. Like they have so many flavors, but not all of those, those flavors you can get in like a variety, like the lunch pack snacks. So I went ahead and picked up the pizza. I think that they'll enjoy this. So I got the pizza one also. 
And then last but not least, Pearl's pick. Of course, if she knows that we're going to H-E-B, she asks for sushi. So we got the California combo for her. She likes a different flavored one. So she'll have this for lunch tomorrow because it's already after lunchtime today. And then I haven't had sushi in a while. I'm not a huge fan of like the fish ones or any type of seafood one, but I do like the veggie ones. So I did go ahead and get the veggie roll. This is on a Saturday when we got this stuff. So if I don't like this, I know Mark and Pearl <laughs> will eat that too. But I figured it's been a little while. I need to try sushi again. So I went ahead and picked one up for me to try. And that is it with us going on a little vacation soon. We just didn't need a whole lot. And I really tried to shop our like pantry and freezer for dinners this week. And that way we didn't have a whole lot of food in the house while we were gone. So that's everything we got for groceries this week. All right, so I don't remember what the total was, but I did pop up individual prices, which I like to do in my grocery haul so you guys can see what everything costs on its own and how it all adds up, especially nowadays. So one more time, don't forget to go give Tiffany some love. Tell her I sent you her channel link, Small Town 6, is down in the description box. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you are new to my channel, my name is Vanessa, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like grocery hauls. I share at least one video a week. Sometimes I try for two, but I film when I can and fit it all into my schedule when I can. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.